Hello, this is David with Redline Detection. Today's tech tip discusses connecting your smoke machine to an EVAP system. Some vehicles have a test port to connect a smoke machine to the EVAP system. It's usually under hood and marked with a green cap. Note that this one has a one PSI limit to keep EVAP components safe from damage. When you remove the cap, you'll see a Schrader valve underneath. It's important to remove that valve to increase airflow and therefore smoke flow into the EVAP system. Remember that these valves have a reverse thread, so you'll be turning clockwise to remove the valve. For vehicles that don't have a test port, one simple way to connect is to remove the hose from the purge valve and insert the cone on your smoke machine to fill the EVAP system. The downside to that connection is you're no longer testing the entire EVAP system, including that purge valve. Here's another option for you. Redline introduced the Easy EVAP to connect to vehicles without a test port. It uses a double stick gasket to connect directly to the filler neck after you've removed the cap. After connecting the Easy EVAP to the vehicle filler neck, connect your smoke machine to the hose here and you can begin testing the EVAP system. The Easy EVAP works with almost every vehicle, including those with capless filler necks. Thanks for tuning into this week's tech tip. If you need technical assistance, Redline's legendary customer service is here to help. With ASE certified master techs, just a phone call away.